Hey, 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 Uncle Mark in the mothership. Three strings, cigar, box, guitar. Yeah, yeah, this is Gimme Shelter. This is a Rolling Stones tune that's kind of uh, in the middle of advanced and beginner and everything in between. So you can be a beginner and you can play a lot of this song. You can be an intermediate player and play bits and bobs, or you can be the advanced player and play the whole package, even with a looper, and do these wonderful things with it. So let me go through this tune and then we will uh, work out all of the different parts because there's about four sections that you really need to know and that includes the solo. So here we go. This is the key you can play it in with the album or the live version. And uh, what do we got going on? We've got a G, D, G, and that's a 42, 34, 24. Those are the gauges. And also they are wound electric strings. And uh, I am playing through my Head Rush gig board. I'm also playing into an FRFR, if that makes any difference to you guys. So this song is in C sharp. So how do I find C sharp? So open G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp. And you're going to need to know this, you advanced and intermediate guys, that that is a C sharp, because we're going to be coming up to that note. So the C sharp, what I do to find it, is I just look for my second dot and I'm in between the second and third dot. That's my C sharp. Uh, there's also the rock and roll rhythm involved in this and it's in a different way. So most of us know the like so, standard rock and roll rhythm with a little palm muting. I do have a lesson on palm muting and you can find that in my Just a Beginner section uh, playlist on YouTube. So if you look for just a beginner, you can find how to palm mute, but a real quick way to do it is give the, the bridge a karate chop and play, and then pull your hand forward up the strings until you get a little dampening sound. And that's basically what you're doing is just muting a little bit. I put my fingers on here and kind of elevate a little bit. That's how I play. And you can see the damage I've done to the box by the, just the style of playing I do. So instead of a rock and roll rhythm here, I want to do it with the pinky right here on this note. That's a B. And it doesn't sound exactly perfect going into this thing. But as you play it, it will sound better and better as you do it. So the song is in C sharp, B, and A. Those are the three chords. So if all you do is the C sharp, I'm using this rock and roll rhythm through this whole section. So the first little part, the storm is threatening, you don't have to do anything, just hit a hard, hard driving uh, distorted chord, right? 
And then once you get into it, you're going to be a rock and roll rhythm here on this B. So C sharp, B, B. And right there, that's a G sharp. An A. That's an F sharp, that note right there. So this is how it looks. So for another intermediate or advanced player, there's a little twist, there's a subtle twist in here that I want you to see, and this is in C sharp, here we go to B, A, and the, the little subtle twist is coming right now. You're going to stay on this B coming back from the A to B, and you're going to start on the, the B with your finger on this G sharp and go. So it's speed, it's going to be like so. You can see it's a very subtle little effect right here again. Very subtle effect. Uh, Keith does these wonderful, wonderful little subtleties. You also find that little effect in Honky Tonk Women, and you also find it in a couple of other Rolling Stones songs. It's his kind of his signature. That's his signature thing. There's a uh, the more advanced intro section of this starts out with a chord shape that looks like so. And instead of C sharp, G sharp, uh, C sharp, we're going to do this G sharp, C sharp, G sharp this way. You're going to use this shape this way, this way, and this way. So you're going to use this shape for C sharp. You're going to come down a whole tone to B. You're going to come down a whole tone to A with this shape because you need your pinky here. And the reason you need your pinky is you're gonna hit this note right there. So you're running through notes. The notes you're gonna run through in this chord shape, G sharp, F sharp, and that is an E, and that is a C sharp. And that's the pattern. That's actually an F, sorry. So G sharp, F sharp. That's an F. And that's a C sharp, so. And you go to here. Keep the same pattern. It's the same pattern the whole way through. this really fun is you're going to do this with the chord. So that's really, really fun to be able to go through those notes like that. It's just very, very fun. Uh, I really, really love it. And as you get better, you can do the... Uh you can work 
work back and forth between the upper register here and the lower register and work back and forth. That is super fun. So the little solo parts, there's a harmonica part that has a... Remember, we talked about this C sharp. Okay, so... This uh, B to C sharp does that harmonica part. So if I set up a rhythm like so, I can go and get that harmonica part on the album. There's also a great little, uh, great little note right here. So you got these to the C sharp. This little G sharp is in there as well. So that's a really cool little note. And that's a great note for in there. So soloing in this thing. Remember your blues box is right here and, and look at it as that dot right there where the E note is. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I am gonna do a little, uh, a little riff here and then we'll get into that blues box and I'll show you the little solo parts that I think are just fun. They're very keithy. The way I teach this is your three fingers work right here. So on the ninth fret would be your first finger. Any notes on the ninth fret, play the first finger. Any notes on the tenth, any notes on the eleventh, play the third. So you are just alternating between first and third fingers. So you're just working on the high G string and the D string. So the one in the two string here. In any combination you feel like. So here it is again. I can do this in a one note solo just hanging out on this E. You can hang out on this uh, on the D string. This is the eleventh uh, fret. That's a C sharp. Or you can just play all those four notes in any combination. song to fool around with. Uh, great live. If you're any good with a looper, this song loops extremely well. This is uh, Uncle Mark and the Mothership. Thank you all so much for everything you do for me. I do have a PayPal link down here below. It's a paypal.me forward slash Uncle Mark Tips. A buck a show is all we're asking for here in the Mothership. It keeps the lights on, keeps the heat on, and that sort of thing. Keeps us in guitar strings and the little things we need to do to put out these videos. And thank you so much. I'm on Facebook at Cigar BX Blue. Thank you so much for everything you do. All you donators, really, really, you have, you have just been so extremely generous. Thank you. We'll see you next time.